Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution Return to Jurassic Park highlight sh showreel kind of thing. Yes, that one. So, I know you're eagerly awaiting the T-Rex paddock, but are we going to open it? Are you going to skip the video? Oh, I don't know. Go on then, I'll open it for you. <laughs> So the first one, the original Rexy herself, the 1993 skin. Oh, look at it there in front of the redwood trees. Do the roar. Go on. Is it the roar from Jurassic Park? I'm not sure. But the eye looks more yellow. So if we have a look, 1993 pattern. Beautiful. Now what I'm also going to do is just turn off dinosaur battles. Next we've got the 1997 pattern, 1997 pattern A, 2001 pattern and 2001 pattern A. Ooh. So 1997, this is going to be a variant on the Bull T-Rex. It should be the Bull T-Rex, but yeah, it doesn't look like the Bull T-Rex. It's more blue. And I'm not too sure why that is. Um, I think I remember asking about uh, this with Frontier. Oh, okay. Was that a was that a T-Rex roar from Lost World? I don't think it, it well maybe it was. Maybe it was. So this one is a lot more blue. Um and I would love your opinion on this. Is this the one from the Lost World? Because I personally don't think it well the colorings are, but the type of color isn't. I don't think so. And the next one is a 1997 variant. Now this is the bull T-Rex, yes! The, oh, oh, there you go, phasing through uh, Rexy herself. This is the one. Oh, look at that! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, it's gorgeous! Wow! I love it! Oh, oh god, no, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to click that. Whoa! Against the redwood trees. Oh, the color scheme is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. That's my favorite. I don't even care. I don't even care what comes on next. That's all I wanted. It's it's something about the nose, that snout, with those um those stripes. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think maybe it's because I had the Thrasher T-Rex toy. Maybe that's why. Okay, so now is the 2001 T-Rex, the one from Jurassic Park 3. And yeah, I can already hear you saying. I, I can hear the thoughts. Wait, that's the one from Jurassic Park 3? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they all have the same sort of calls. So I did also ask about this one and why it was so orange. It just looks like the Raptor variant. Now, don't get me wrong. It looks absolutely gorgeous, but it also looks very similar to the um, to the T-Rex in uh, the Bull of Bull T-Rex variant. Um, I don't know exactly what makes this so different. Even the uh, stripes on the snout look kind of similar. You'll also notice I've put in, who oh, no, I couldn't help myself. We have to have a little fun with these guys. You know, T-Rex put the toilet in from the movie. Hell yeah. And also with the Raptor, but you'll have to watch the video for that one. Uh, and the final one, a variant on the 2001 pattern. Maybe Frontier already anticipated people were gonna ask that question. But here we go, another beautiful looking T-Rex. It's like dried blood, covered in the dried blood of its victims. So what can you do with these skins? Uh, you could have a male and female T-Rex. You could have the bull and the thresher. Having that as the female and having this as the male T-Rex, I guess you could. Because they, they basically look the same. And that, oh, yes, yes, that's what you're gonna do. That's what I would do. Uh, I don't know about these two. Um, I do like that blue T-Rex though. It looks so nice. You gotta admit, right guys? It looks gorgeous. But no, that's not all. We've got some amazing skins still to come. Uh, is there any more in here? Uh, no, no, there's not. Ah, here we go. Now I've made this enclosure just like um, the Lost World. You know, redwoods and thick trees. So here it is, the one we were wanting for so Friggin' long. The Stegosaurus from the Lost World. And boy, is it happy about it. Not only do we have different, you know, color skin, but we have textures that have changed. 
we've got the head model that has changed itself. So it looks more like the one from the movie. It's got more of a beak, the tail is higher, the thagomizers are painted a different, like a nice lighter shade of white. It's gorgeous. Now I haven't really had much of a look at the other skins that are for this Stegosaur. So this is a variant on the 1997 skin. Again, gorgeous. I always like when they have these two skin tones. They have a dark one and maybe a little bit of a lighter one. Just to show some dimorphism if you want to have that in your park. Maybe have the, uh, the males that look brighter and the females that look duller. Just like you get in real life. And we'll be able to see these guys right next to each other. And there you have it. The green and then the paler skin. Always nice to have some variation. So this one is 1997C, 1997D, 1997E. So we've got a lot of variants on these ones. That's quite nice. Ooh, I like it. Don't you look gorgeous? Mm. Yeah, it says, yeah, I look pretty. So we're going to release these guys. Hmm, I don't know which one I'm preferring. Do I prefer the original? Which one's the original? Not that one. I don't know. I quite like that one. Oh, I do. Hmm. Okay, what's this one? What does this one look like? Oh, now that's mm. nice. An autumnal Stegosaurus. Fits more in the dirty brown environment. Fit in more with the trees. That's nice. I think I prefer this one. Uh, that's a second. I think the brown one's a second so far. And this one's a first. You can't go wrong. I, it's close, but I think I prefer the other one. And the final Stegosaur. Oh, paler. So this one actually fits in better with that one. So you could have a male and a female for maybe this this one, maybe? I'm not sure. Yeah, they're back to 100%. But yeah, you could have two couples here. Like these two work so well together. That brown and then this brown running off. And then this one, yeah, yeah, you could do anything. <laughs> Who am I to tell you how to have your Stegosaurus herd? But here we go on to the Brachiosaurus, the 1993 Brachiosaurus, the famous one from the movie. We're just going to release all those. So we got 1993A, a 1993C, a 1993D, and a 1993E. Uh, and then we'll go with the Triceratops, so the regular 1993 pattern, 1993, B, A, B, C, D, you get it. There's, there's only a few creatures that have variants on all three movies. A lot of the herbivores don't, but there, uh, look at it. That's it. That's exactly it from the movie. Triceratops, just like the Stegosaur, has went through massive transformations. The horns change, the beaks change, the skin patterns on the back. Oh, it's it's beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it more than I do the original Triceratops we got, the Jurassic World one. And I think that's because this one actually looks scaly in comparison to the flobby, smooth skin look that the Jurassic World one went for. Look at that. That's a nice one for the Brachiosaur. Oh, we got a very, ooh, a very green Triceratops. You know, if you wanted to, you could just have a whole green looking park. And that's what I like about this. That Brachiosaur, that Triceratops, and that Stegosaur, they'd fit in completely together. So here we go. We've got another Triceratops there. Yeah. Ooh, more of a, a, a muted green tone, isn't it? Quite nice. Pastely. This actually is my favorite Brachiosaur skin. I mentioned this when I was doing my playthrough, that they had a really nice one, um, and this is it. Because of the two-tone. It's so gorgeous looking! And I think it's because it's based on, like, the trading card. Or at least the Stan Winston maquette. I think the underbelly's a bit more orange. Oh, okay, there, there we go, we've got a plum and triceratops that's... Oh! Glitching out, and bright red. Um, ooh. Oh! They won't be happy, though. These guys won't be happy because there's not enough trees. <laughs> Although, saying that, go on. Let's make them happy. We'll just fill these trees in. There you go. Is that better? There you go. Gotta have them happy. So there's a lot of skins that are 
greeny or muted. There's a lot of skins that are like bright red. <laughs> like this. Look, this reminds me of the copy skin, actually. Also, you see the different fence there. I don't think I ever used this in the game. Uh, but that is the heavy fence, and that has to be... I mean, it's definitely based on the Jurassic Park 3 one. It has to be. And we've got the final Brachiosaurus. A kind of hybrid between this one and the other green ones. Like I said in the previous video, um, I feel as though I would have preferred just one... Oh, wait. Hold on. What? That's a new... Triceratops? I don't remember seeing this guy. Oh, all right, all right. Um, and maybe that one looks a little bit more blue um, than this one, because this is the 1993. Um, but actually, that's my favorite Triceratops. That one. Oh, he's gorgeous. He's like a little cow. I love him. Well, I can't say little, can we? And my favorite Brachiosaur. This one just went straight for the trees. Oh, he went for the feeder. That's where he went. <laughs> Close second is that Brachiosaur on the left. And my favorite is that one. I like that one. Now let's quickly go over to the T-Rexes. You can't, I mean, how could you say no? How could you say no to this? Look at it. It's so good. Yeah, you are. You are gorgeous. He's living to pat him on the head. <laughs> but that is going to have to wrap up this video. Um, sort of splicing these in between the regular campaign, just as a little variation. So if you do want to see all of the skins and you, you know, maybe we don't cover them in the campaign. I'm not going to spoil anything. Um, you can see them right here. Uh, we will also be doing a live stream soon, uh, recreating Jurassic Park, or at least for the first episode. I'd love to... I mean, I like doing live streams, and I... Yeah, I want to do it! <laughs> so in the next episode, we'll be going over the unique kill-death animations that some of these animals have with each other. Um, that has been added, I think, with... Uh, it's just like a general patch update. I, I don't know how it works. Because it would be a bit weird if Return to Jurassic Park only had this animation and none of the other ones did. Uh, and we, after that, we'll be going over the pterosaurs, making them all, and of course, causing a storm and releasing them all. You know, got to do that sort of thing. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye <laughs>